uh, in the last lecture uh, we have seen that uh, uh, a delta complex structure uh, on uh, topological space X uh, consists of uh, a, a collection of uh, maps sigma alpha from standard n simplex uh, to X where n depends on alpha uh, such that uh, three conditions are satisfied, right? Uh, uh, so, uh, so first condition uh, was uh, So, uh, uh, this sigma alpha restricted over this interior of delta uh, standard n simplex or open open n simplex. Uh, is injective, injective, and every point of X lies in exactly uh, uh, every point of X lies in the image of exactly one such uh, restriction. Second condition uh, was uh, that uh, restriction of sigma alpha, right, to uh, faces of this is one of the. So uh, if I take uh, suppose this is standard to simplex, then its restriction to this space is actually one of the sigma betas. All right, from uh, of course delta one uh, to x. Similarly, the section of this sigma alpha over this will be one of the sigma betas, right? Uh, where this is this faces, right? So a face of this delta two is uh, identified as uh, delta one. Uh, and third condition is uh, that topological uh, set A uh, in X is open if and only if sigma alpha inverse A is open in delta N uh, for all alphas, right? So these are the three conditions. Now uh, we can see some examples. So uh, if I uh, if it if I take So every simplicial complex is a delta complex, right? But every uh, delta complex, uh, a delta complex need not be a simplicial complex. So uh, if you take circle, right? 
if you take circle so on circle uh and we can have a delta complex structure right in which uh, uh we have only one uh, one cell and one zero cell right so we have something like so this is uh, delta 1 this is zero right so from here uh, first of all uh, from here to here uh, we map uh, right so this this one this one it goes like this and at this one it goes like this so it's restriction of this uh, this suppose if i consider this sigma 1 and this one we can consider sigma 2 so restriction of sigma 1 over this phase right over uh, this phase will be uh, we uh, will say that the section of this sigma 1 over this phase is exactly this sigma 2 similarly the section of the over uh, sigma 1 over this phase is exactly sigma 2 uh, so there can be other there will be there can be other ways also so for example we can have circle like this all right so we can have two uh, sigma 1 this is delta 1 this is zero so we can have sigma 1 then this side this goes to this portion this goes to this portion this sigma 2 and this one uh, we can take to this then we have sigma 3 then again this one we can take to this one uh, we have sigma 4 so uh, we can uh, uh yes so here uh, uh we can have uh, Two one cells and two zero cells. Second example, we can have uh, something like uh, for uh, sphere maybe. Okay, so we can have sphere. so here what we can do uh one okay so we can have this uh, two cell we have one cell standard one simplex delta 1 the standard is delta 2 this okay so we can have we can take this we can map this to this this is some triangular 
and then we can map so this is one so sigma one then this one sigma two right we can map this to this right and then again we can map this to this then this to this okay and this one uh, we can map to of course this one and then this one this one this one like this so uh, there will be many uh, so similarly for a lower hemisphere so something like So how many maps from here to here? So one, two, three, four, and then for lower hemisphere, four, four, plus four, eight, and from here, uh, we can have what is this? One one is this, two, uh, three, then four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and then uh, one, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four, twelve. Eight plus four, twelve. And then uh, what's this from here? So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, two four, five, six. So twelve plus six plus eight. Twenty six. So total twenty six sigma alphas uh, will be there in this case. Uh, next, we can take another example. Uh, we can consider torus. Torus can be made uh, by uh, identifying this phase with this phase, this with this one. So we can have So we can have we can have two maps from here to here. One is for this, one is for this, and uh, then uh, this is identified with this. So one map to this one, and one to this, and one to this. So one, uh, two, three. So three maps from here. Two from here and then uh, one map. One map from this. So total six maps. Now, uh, they are following the definition. 
A differential a group C consists of an abelian group C and an endomorphism this from C to C such that this the endomorphism this is called the differential cl r boundary operator operator of C. <clears throat> Note uh, there exists there exists a category category whose objects whose objects are differential groups differential groups and markism was markisms are homo markism commuting with the difference so this uh one can can verify uh so that associativity uh, uh one had to, has been have to verify right uh, so suppose uh, you have c uh then c prime then c double prime right so of course uh, uh, home c c prime right it will contain uh, those homomorphisms f right such that uh, uh, they commute uh, with uh,
such that they commute with the uh, uh, differential. So if you take f, right, uh, f in home, c c here, uh, then uh, uh, we have to have this uh, del f should have uh, equal to del something like this. Okay, so here uh, if we have f and g, uh, then first of all, let us see what will be the composition. So f compose g, uh, Uh, del equal to G composed F del, but this is because F is a homomorphism from here to here. Sorry, F is a home, uh, F is a morphism uh, in this home CC prime. Uh, so we have G composed del F, but then we have G F. But then this is G. So, so this is how I mean, that the composition of uh, 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 homomorphism is actually the composition uh, in the uh, uh, between morphisms uh, in the category. And uh, associativity will be there because composition is actually basically composition of functions. Uh, Okay, in the same discussion. Let C be a differential group. group. Uh, denote uh, by C and image of is by C. Uh, this implies that this because you just see that uh, if you take an element here, then it will be of the form uh, boundary uh, alpha, right? But every element. Uh, this is BC is just image of this. So for some alpha in C, right? Now, uh, if you apply this, then this is what? But this is zero, right? So it means that this boundary alpha is basically uh, in kernel of uh, boundary. Um, uh, this. Uh, so uh, basically, this is subset of this. So basically, these VC and ZC they are subgroups of uh, C. 
so b c it is called a subgroup of subgroup of boundaries and z c is called subgroup of of cycles and of course we are talking about abelian group so because these two are subgroups of c so basically bc will be a subgroup of zc and because uh, c is abelian uh, uh because c is abelian so uh this bc will be a normal subgroup of zc so we can talk about quotient group uh we define the the homology group h of this uh differential group is defined as is defined is defined uh, to be uh, the quotient a uh, group group this the elements of hc are called homology classes of they are called homology classes uh if z is a cycle right that is z z belongs to z c z is a cycle uh its homology class in hc is denoted by the symbol so basically basically this uh, If Z is there in C, then uh, this is what. This is basically your uh, Z plus this. Uh, two cycles as z1 and z2 are said to be homologous 
Homo logos are denoted by denoted by two if their difference is a boundary that is if that is if this uh if tau from c to c prime is a homomorphism is a homomorphism this is a homomorphism of differential groups of differential groups commuting with the differentials the the differentials so differential of c usually uh, differential of c and differential of c prime we will use same uh, notation to denote so we will use same symbol this to denote differential of c and differential of c prime if this happens then uh, uh not okay. the differentials then tau maps cycles of c to cycles of c prime and boundaries and boundaries of c to boundaries of c prime i uh, just see here that uh, if uh, you have a cycle right so alpha belong to zc implies uh right this by definition now this implies if we uh, apply a uh, tau alpha tau pi over this right but uh, then uh, because uh, tau commutes with differential so tau this compose this is nothing but this tau but in the what does it mean uh, it means that uh, this this applied over tau alpha zero implies tau alpha belongs to uh, z c prime 
<laughs> so this this alpha is a uh, cycle it goes to the cycle tau alpha so tau maps cycles to cycle now uh, next uh, uh, if we take a boundary right so uh, some beta belongs to uh, bc right in beta is a an element of boundary implies uh, beta equal to this alpha for some alpha belonging to c right this implies uh, your tau beta equal to tau right this implies tau beta equal to what is this because tau and this boundary map they commute so we have this tau alpha which implies what tau alpha uh, yeah yeah so tau beta is this so implies tau beta belongs to boundary of right because tau beta is nothing but uh, a boundary map applied over tau alpha so tau tau takes cycles of c to cycles of c prime and boundaries of c to boundaries of c prime now what we can conclude from this uh, therefore therefore tau induces the homomorphism uh, tau star from h c homology uh, group H C to homology group H C prime, such that tau star z equal to tau z this for z. so this is an exercise for you to you, you verify that this is well defined exercise tau star is well defined so b stuff here 